Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so uh, I'll be talking about Office 365 administration. So uh, a lot of people come to me and understand, or actually I take an interview for a number of uh, people uh, uh, nowadays and, and, and they do not understand what is Office 365, how to use Office 365 and basic administration of Office 365. So I'm going to teach you uh, I'm going to walk through what is administration, what is Office 365 in 10 minutes and uh, you should be a little bit more prepared uh, about what is Office 365 and how do we go about it. So if I talk about Office 365, it's, it's nothing but a uh, uh, Microsoft Office platform, Microsoft Cloud platform. There are two cloud platforms from Microsoft, which is uh, uh, first is uh, Azure and the second is Microsoft 365. This was also known as Office 365. I already uh, explained what is Microsoft Office 365 or Microsoft 365 in, in my article. If you want, please go through it. Uh, but if you want to understand what is Microsoft 365, it's it's a platform which is more of a business productivity concentrated so you do not have to do too much of administration too much of management too much of customization and start using microsoft products as it's it is you do not have to do too much of installation you do not have to do too much of customizations to use it you do not have to prepare this product whereas if you go for azure you have to build your environment you have to deploy your build you have to have some customization so that's more of a customization side of it this is more of an out of box which you can just uh, create an account start using it that's that's how you go about it okay so this is more of a business productivity suite for microsoft so what do we see in the administration side of it if we come over here what we see in the administration is we have some options which is home and then we have users users is all the users which are currently in the microsoft 365 uh, platform so over here if you see what we see is all the users we see their email addresses we see their licenses and if they, if we need much more information we can choose the other columns which we want to add them to okay then we have something that's called as contacts. Contacts are commonly used uh, uh, email address or phone numbers kind of things uh, which can be shared with the whole organization. So not everyone has to save it individually. This is, this is available to whole organization as is. Then we have something that's called as guest users. Guest users are individuals which are not actually part of our current organizations. Uh, which means they are not part of our Office 365 tenant. They are people who are outside of our tenant. They are outside of our organization. And we want them to be able to access our resources. Uh, so we add them as guest user into our organization. And then we give them specific, uh, specific accesses to uh, access our content. We also have deleted users. If we have deleted any users from the active users, it goes into the deleted users section. If I talk about devices, uh, this is more of a device management where we can manage devices and products on top of those devices. This is there is an active devices and autopilot. It's a top, it's a topic which I would be covering in my future uh, videos. Now we have something that's called as teams and groups. Teams and groups is something that you need to know if you're going for an Office 365 administration interview or preparing for an interview. Uh, people would be asking you about what is in users, what's in teams, what are groups. So we come to teams and groups sections now. Uh, teams and group is where we have active teams so we over here see all the teams and Microsoft 365 groups. So not every Microsoft Teams is uh, uh, not every Microsoft 365 group is a Teams group but all the teams are actually a group okay I repeat not all Microsoft 365 groups are teams but all Microsoft 3 teams would be a group uh, in a in a short per se okay because what happens is a team is nothing but a group of people who come together onto a particular on a common platform and start using SharePoint uh, communication like chat messaging kind of features so if I select add a team what I see over here is I can select a team let's say I select the uh, 
it free support demo okay this is a teams group that i am the teams that i am creating i go to next and i select the owner now there has to be someone who is an owner of this particular teams so there would always be one person who would be the owner of it minimum you can have more owners but i i've just selected one owner and then i select these are alex adil and other other members of the team now this is an option where what i can say is that uh first i would like to tell this is a private or a public public means uh people can join without approvals from the owners and private is no one can join without unless an owner adds him to the group so okay so for example if we have something that's called as hr internal not everyone can join hr internal but if there's something that's called as uh, uh if if there's something that's called as hr information which is like everyone should know what hr wants to talk about so hr can put everyone in that or everyone can join the hr information group and so everyone can join it and then we have an tenant email address so what we are saying is that anyone who wants to send an email uh, can send email to this email address and it will land up onto this particular users inbox okay so i have given it an email address as well and i hit finish okay that's that's the basic details how I, on how i can add a teams okay now i hit cancel i don't want or actually let me create a team it's okay i i created a team and it would be available for me shortly it will take like a minute or two for this teams to get created okay i come back to my uh, or how do we go about office 365 admin tools or how we can access the admin center is we can go to office.com log in with our credentials and just click on this admin button on the left hand side navigation and we would be in our admin center again coming back to my teams and groups so we have all the active teams and groups which are present over here then we have something that's called as office 365 or microsoft 365 group now this is not teams this is just a basic group which can be used for email and all uh, permissioning and couple of such purposes okay this can be used for permissions in the sharepoint side or this can be used for emailing purpose as well okay and we can define there are ways like i say uh, let's say I'll, i'll i'll create a group and i'll show you uh at this basic the same things i select group i is like one owner of it and i select couple of members of it and here we go we have the group email address that we can assign and again a uh, public and private the same settings where public anyone can join private not everyone anyone can join okay and i'll hit cancel on this for now and explain you uh, okay now again this is this one setting that is that i would like to highlight here is where you can see that allow uh, external senders or send copies of group conversation to members so others can others from organization which are from other organization uh, from google or hotmail can also be able to send email to this email address we can specify that if you want to restrict it we have other options and settings which we can use okay i'm going to cancel this i'm not going to go with this 365 group i come to distribution list now now distribution list is where we can see all the email address or we can create this this kind of group is actually email address group where we can just send email addresses to uh, individuals using this group so i can see over here uh Uh, there there's an there's an group that's called as executives so executive groups uh, people from uh, all the organization can send email to this executive group there is an email address for this executive group this is the email address and what's going to happen is all these members will automatically receive email okay and i have selected allow senders to send uh, to email this group now i have selected external senders should not be able to send email to this group which means only specific group of people can send email to this particular group okay 
Now, uh, there's another that's called a security group. Now, this security group is only for security purpose, which means I cannot send email. So if I go over here and I click, uh, you would see that I, this, this does not have any email configurations to it. So this is only for security, which is only for signing permissions and making sure your permissions part is taken care of. But there's another group which is called as a mail enabled security group. Over here, you can use it for permission as well as emailing purpose as well okay this is different than microsoft 365 group so don't get confused there are there's a reason why we have 365 group and mail enable security group which i'll try to cover in my future videos then we have something that's called as policies okay this is all the policies that we have then we have uh, deleted groups if we have deleted groups then we have shared mailboxes i'll be covering shared mailboxes later okay uh we have roles uh resources billings i would not want you to go here because this should not normally come in your uh interview but yeah something that should come in your interview is licenses there are multiple kinds of licenses and billings <laughs> Those licenses are E5 license, E3 license, Windows E3 license. These are other licenses. I would I would highly suggest you to understand what these licenses are. There are more. If you go to go more products, you would see the tons and tons of licenses which are available out here, which uh, organization can go for buying uh, about it, and uh, they can they can purchase all these licenses. So. Uh, if if you uh, you should you should really know what licenses are what is office 365 licenses what is microsoft 365 licenses and these licenses are something that you really need to know and uh, proceed further on it okay now the next one is uh, understand a little bit about what is exchange what is sharepoint what is teams i'll be covering i'll be creating another 10 minutes video about security, compliances, endpoint, identity, exchange, SharePoint, and Teams separately. So you would have a 10 minutes video of all of this. So at least an, an hour of video cumulatively will help you prepare for an Office 365 administration. But on a quick note, what we saw from top to bottom uh, on this particular page was something that you had to really know about, you really need to understand okay users uh, teams and groups and uh, licenses is something those are three main aspects of uh, uh, of 365 administration which uh, administrator on a uh, level one level two administrator would be spending a good amount of time into it okay uh, we'll be, we'll try to cover each and every aspects like active users and users section in a separate video, which will go more detail in it. And that will help you, uh, get more grasp or knowledge about such things. Okay. If you like this video do follow the series, uh, I'll be covering a lot of things in my upcoming videos. Okay. Take care. Bye.